you know how they say um, nice guys finish last or something like that, right? That's the saying. Is that what it is? It's so true. It really is because if you think about it, you can have a woman that you love, that you, you know, really want to be with, that you don't have to chase. I'm just kidding. Um, no, nice guys finish last. I believe that because there's so many things in this world, childhood trauma and trauma in general and, you know, getting hurt in, in relationships like, you know, you you get hurt, you get your heart broken, you know, you can deal with narcissists, you can deal with abuse, you can deal with mental abuse, physical, emotional abuse, you know what I mean? And it's like somebody can be beaten down so badly from their past that you're dealing with a broken heart that you did not break. So when you have a good man who deals with all of that for you, you got to look at that and really appreciate that because it's something that is hard to see for a woman though because they're not used to it. So they just look at it as it is what it is. They don't even realize like how amazing that is that they've been through so much shit and they finally have a nice guy that cares about them. They don't see it and it's not because of you. It's because they don't understand what love is in, in instances, not all the time. Swear to God. Hold on. So weird. Anyways. Okay. Because we, it's like, the nice guys, it's like, you guys have to work really, really hard in order to even sometimes get recognition from a girl. And it's not... It's not anything against you. It's not anything that you did. It's not, it's just we don't recognize it because we don't know what love actually looks like because we've been hurt so much. And I think that that's different between men and women because women are oblivious and men are distant. Men don't let you in. They don't, they don't open up. They're not very vulnerable. They don't like opening, like letting you in. You know what I mean? Um... I think that's, I believe that that's how it is when they've been beaten down so many times from past relationships and you're dealing with a broken heart that you didn't break. I think that that's what happens with men. But with women, we don't, at least for me and, and my belief, we don't recognize it. And we will think that you're being sneaky. Like, and both sexes, I think that when you have somebody that's being really nice to you that, you know, whatever, you're very suspicious of it. You're like, why would this person be doing this? Why would this person be doing this? What do they want from me? Da, da, da. Like, we think everybody's, like, against us or is going to attack us or hurt us in some type of way. So when you have a nice person that really cares about you and really wants the best for you and has, like, good intentions for you and no hidden agendas, no manipulations, nothing, it's really hard to see that for anybody sometimes. And it's really... Um... It sucks <laughs> but you got to realize that it's not you it's always something that happened with somebody's past but it's like they're so beaten down that even the littlest things that you do that had nothing to do with what that person thinks you were doing they can like flip out because they got triggered because it reminded them of something else that somebody did to them and it's like you didn't do anything like at all and this person's flipping out on you and it's like that's another reason why nice guys finish last because you can be treated like shit by another person a woman a guy enough it doesn't matter because they've been beaten down so much that they don't deal with bullshit anymore and they think that you're giving them bullshit if you are giving them bullshit it could just be worse because of the shit that this person has been through um i hope that makes sense because i feel like i'm not blabbling, but my head is kind of somewhere else right now because I just saw something and yeah. Um, but no, I think that it's difficult for guys to be a nice guy because a lot of women have been broken. They're broken. They have broken hearts and they walk around with broken hearts, not even oblivious to how people look at them. And if people are looking at them and checking them out or anything, like we automatically, some, 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 women will automatically think like not good things <laughs> so be like what a fucking creep or 
Like, even if, like, the person's not creepy. Like, they're just, like, even if they just, like, smile and they're just, like, kind of, like, in awe about how beautiful you are. Not, like, hey, I want to fuck her. Like, you know what I mean? Like, there's a difference. There's a difference. And you can tell the difference between a way a man looks at you. I don't know if it's different for women. Um, I know that. Never mind. <laughs> I'm not going to say it because it's funny. I know that if I'm checking out a guy, which doesn't happen that often because I, I don't check out guys. It's just a, it's a thing. I've, I've never been somebody that checked out guys. It's weird. Um, but I will check out. <laughs> certain things when men wear certain things. Like sweatpants. I'm gonna end here. I'm done. I'm done. Okay. <laughs> That's the only thing I check out on, guys. If I do, I don't do it all the time. I mean, guys don't always wear sweatpants either, so I can't. <laughs> no, when I'm in love or when I only have my eyes on one person, I could care fucking less. It's just funny. Um, yeah. That's how I am when I'm not already with somebody or fixated on somebody or want to be with somebody or I don't do that but when I'm free balling and I'm free falling and I can do whatever the fuck I want <laughs> I mean I can do whatever the fuck I want anyways but I don't know I don't do that to my man I think it's disrespectful all right I wouldn't want them looking at a girl like that so I don't look at men like that but yeah okay Bye, guys.